Hey everyone, it's Paul from Alexandria, knife sharpening and laser engraving. So what I wanted to do is show you the power of Xtool Creative Spaces software for marking where your location of your engraving is going to be. And there's lots of different systems out there, but I really like how they do it. Now, some of them use cameras. Some of them use just little laser beams that like draw little boxes around. But what Xtool Creative Space does is it uses a positioning system by combining taking readings from the actual laser that has a beam on it and then corresponding it to your software. So you'll see right now I have a square here and I can pick different selections. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to end this. I'm going to cancel this and just redo it so you can see it. All right. So I want to take this engraving up here and I want to redo this lower part because I have a, a, a finished piece of wood that I wasn't happy with how deep this part came out. Now it can be really difficult to try and line things like that back up with some lasers. Some it's down, downright almost impossible, but I want to show you how amazing this marking system is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and where you see down here, it says start marking. I'm going to collect that and I can pick different shapes. Now the, the wood itself is just a square. So I'm going to go with the rectangle and I'm going to hit start marking. Now I'm going to go over to my laser and show you what I do. So all I have to do, see this laser beam. It's a, I've used it to one, get my wood uh, level by lining the wood up on that, but then I can mark that little corner by clicking this button. And now it recorded that on my computer screen over there. And now I'm gonna just physically move the laser to the other opposite corner, because that's all you need for a square is two measurements. And I just wanna make sure I get it exactly in that corner, as close as I can, all right? That looks good to me. I'm going to hit that. All right, so now that's going to give me this piece of wood, which I've redropped my piece in there. Now it's a little bit moving around a little bit because uh, some of it's gone, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that won't make too much of a difference. But I want to see if we can get right in there and re-hit that uh, Semper Fidelis and make it deeper. All right, so now that I've got my two points, I'm gonna come back over the computer. I'm gonna hit end marking. And now when I hit done, this box that you see here, this outline is my outline. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these and I'm just gonna move them down in here into the box. Now, this is where it's going to be a little bit tricky, <laughs> but what I want to do is I want to make sure that I am lined up here. So I want to make sure that this is correct. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the laser head pointer to right under this S, right on that line. And I'm kind of right in the middle there, as you can see, but I'm right under it. And I want to see where that's falling here. So you can see that's not in the right spot, right? So here's my little crosshair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and I'm going to move this entire engraving let me get some of this stuff out of my way here. I'm going to move it up so that that is right under. And I kind of want it right in the middle. I'm going to have to use the arrow keys here. They give you a fine adjust. You see how finely that's moving? All right. And that looks like it's just about right. And I'm gonna come over a little bit to the right and that should be right in the middle of that S. And I am right on the bottom. You can see there, 
All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide the laser head over to the E. I'm kinda on the E and right under it, and let's see, are we there? And that's looking pretty good, right? It's looking like it's right there. So let's go to all the way to the end. Let's go to the F. And now I'm right on the line of the F. Kind of going right down the letter. And that looks that looks pretty good, right? It looks like we're we're right there. So I'm feeling like we're pretty good with that placement. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close my laser's lid. And the only thing I wanna engrave right now is this line right here. So I'm gonna put that on output, which means it's gonna engrave. I wanna make some adjustments here to the settings here. And let's see, I do want it at 160. And that was the problem before. I didn't have my lines per inch high enough. And I think I'm gonna want at least two passes. So I'm gonna change that to two. And now I just wanna check all the other things. I wanna make sure they're off. So I don't want that engraving. I don't want this down here engraving at all. And I also am gonna check the red, which is the outside cut level. Uh, I don't need that doing anything because I don't need to recut it. It's already cut. We're just seeing if we can put this right back in there. So now when I hit process, we should only see that. And that's what we got, right? There's our Semper Fidelis. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to hit start. And it's telling us it's going to be a two-minute engraving. So here we go. We're starting. And I have to just come over here and hit this button. And let me see. Okay, the second run just finished. And let's take a look. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. That is perfect wow i could not ask for any better so we totally salvaged this piece of uh, walnut and now we can use it so it was way too light before and i hate wasting material but you know sometimes like uh, engraving just doesn't come out the way you want it it wasn't deep enough and unfortunately i'd taken it out of there and completely removed it. It wasn't until I had, I had actually started, you can see I can finish this with a little bit of uh, Odie's oil, but it was so light after doing the Odie's oil, you couldn't see it. You couldn't see the engraving. The, well, you, you can't miss the USMC because we cut that out on purpose because it's going to have a stainless steel uh, bottle opener behind it. But we just wanted the Semper Fidelis uh, engraved that is a completely nice engraving. I'm so happy about that. And I, I know this was one of my concerns uh, when I uh, started lasering was like, how hard is it to place things and get them in the right spot? Well, let me tell you that Xtool Creative Space software really makes life a lot easier, as you can see. And what you just saw me do there, putting an engraving back inside of an engraving, on my other uh, two lasers, I, I don't know how I would even do it. It's very, very difficult to do. Uh, so this is uh, amazing. I forget what they uh, say the positioning is, but the accuracy, I think it's, it might be a millimeter or something. It's, it's really amazing, the accuracy, as you can see. So there we go. Figured I'd share that with you all.